In this video, we're going to focus on how we can put in here our labels where we customize the text and we can put in here the value as well. So you can see if I refresh here, this it will look very nice and it will show up immediately. So let's start to look how to do this. So to create the text on the left side inside the horizontal bar, what we're going to do is we need to have first our default code, which you can find here on chargeyes3.com getting started. This specific link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, let's copy this chunk of code first. There we are. If you want to understand this code, make sure you watch this video here that explains it all. So then I will just paste that in there, cut out the title, put this title in here, save, refresh. Now we have this, let's maximize the size of the chart. I'll say here, 80% save, refresh. Now what I want to do is I want to swap these axes so that this category axis on the X axis will be moved here to the Y axis. To do this, I'm going to scroll down here then in the options, I'm going to say index axis, and this will be equal to the Y, comma, save, refresh. There we are. So now this works, and what we have to do here is to put in text. And I was thinking in the beginning, we could, we could probably use the data labels plugin, but apparently that doesn't work. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our own plugin. Before I even do this, you can see here this y scale always begin at zero which of course doesn't mean anything anymore because we have this font size or text text labels what we want to do is this x-axis or convert this into an x-axis save refresh nothing really changes here but just to be sure that that is correct because that makes more sense now what i want to do is comma and then what i'm going to say here is a plugin or plugins because we're going to create our own plugin and let's call this our inner bar text copy this and that object you're going to create that here so I'm going to say here this will be the plugin um, block and then we're going to say here constant inner bar text and then I'm going to say ID in a bar text and I'm going to say here when would we like to draw the text what I want to make sure is that the text that we have will be here but it will be on top of the bar chart so that this background color will not be uh, covering on top of the text. So this is very important. So we're going to say here, after the data sets has been drawn, at that moment, we will draw the text. So we're going to say your chart, arcs, and plugin options. Then what I want to do in here is to do a object destructuring. If you want to understand object destruction, in the comments, or sorry, in the description, you can find the video for that. It's called uh, Understanding Charges Object Destructuring. So what I'm going to do here, constant equals chart, because I'm going to pinpoint the chart object. Here, what I need is the CTX, comma. Then what I will need here is the data, because I want to have the data. I want to have the chart area. And if you want to understand what chart area is, again, in the comment, sorry, in the description box, you can find that. I'm going to only get, grab the left here, because we only need the left value. And finally, we're going to do here x and y although i believe we only need the y value anyway just having this is just useful so now i can start to work on this i say ctx.save and let's save all of this next what i want to do now is start to draw the text so let's put in some text in here i'm going to say ctx.font and i'm going to describe here what it will be let's make this bold or bolder one or the other this one is slightly more thicker which is i think nice and then i'm going to say 12 pixels which is the default and I'm going to say here, sun serif. And I'm using just the default 12 pixels and sun serif or font family because these are used in chart.js. So now what I want to do is I want to give it a color. Let's say CTX at fill style. And we can give it any color we want. And let's make this gray for now. I'm going to use the British word for gray. Once we did this, I'm going to say here, CTX dot fill text. And what I want to do here now, just for now, I just want to draw a basic dummy text. Let's call this test. And I'm going to say here the position X and Y. So we need the coordinates of this. Luckily, we have this here and we have this one here. This left will make sure that we are here positioned and then probably we have to push it a little bit more. So what we can do here for that, I'm going to say here. Well, let's do here just first 10 and 10. And then you will see exactly what's going to happen. If I save this now, refresh. You can see here the test here is 
on the right location or at least one sorry it's not in the right location but we have to reposition this here so how do we do this well let's make this on the uh, horizontal level correct so that i want to have it basically from here a little bit more there and this here is basically the left in the chart area so we're going to say left plus 10. if i do this save refresh you can see here now the text is starting to have a proper location all right now i want to align it on a vertical level so we're going to go here down next to this monday here so to do that all we need is a built-in charge.js function which is the y because we're going to focus on the vertical level so that's y and we say you get pixel for the value and the value here will be zero why is it why zero well this is index zero because we swap the axis so this is now index zero and if i save this refresh as you can see here this works nicely so now what i can do here is for example i don't want this test here i want to have real values i'm going to grab this value here and let me just do a console log for that and let me show you what this is if i save this refresh and open up this you can see here the object and what will happen is we will get you all of the data information or well basically the data object that is this one here and what i want to do now is well we have two things first of all i want to grab let's say the monday we'll put it here monday and we put in the value whatever the value is which is number 18 for here so monday number 18 so first of all let's get the monday which is in the data labels so what i'm going to do here we have the data here so if i say data dot labels you will see we get here everything if i say index zero we should get only the monday there we are and it loads multiple times which is normal because of the animation so what i can do here is let's do here a uh, es if i was in the es6 um uh back what is that sorry back tick back tick and this is the attempted literals sorry so what that means is template literal is like concatenation in a different way and we need to use back ticks which is on your keyboard below your escape button and then we can say here a dollar sign i put in this here as a variable and it will recognize it then i can do here colon and then i can say here let's say number 18. if i do this say you can see here it will work nicely of course i want the number here and not this uh not the text that we have hard coded here so what i want to do here is exactly the same except now i'm going to copy this put that in there and then here now what do i need is well let's see we probably will need if i'm not mistaken the uh the data and then the data sets so let's go here to data sets dot data and then index zero if i save this refresh there we are we get now the full value of course let's make a a proper for loop for this because we have the data here and this data gives us access to basically this if i just grab this and do only this here we can just loop through this and then we have all of this random data here if i open up here you can see here all the values let's start to loop through that and then we can just automatically put them in here because the only thing to, to change here afterwards is the index here so let's start to do this what we're going to do here now is a for loop. Uh, I'm sorry, not a for loop, it's a for each loop. So what we're going to grab is, I'm just going to grab all of this, say here, and then we say dot for each. And then we can loop through every value we ha had in this array here. So what we're going to do here then is we're going to say here, I need to have double parentheses, and I'm going to say first one will be the data point. I'll just give this as a shorthand of data point, and the next will be index function uh, expression arrow or a function arrow expression then we have these curly braces then i'm going to cut this out put that in there give this a proper indentation and let's see we have all of this here and we have this should all work and then we can say here the proper index see so index this one here we could do index but we basically have the reference here as well so i can just grab this and put that in here instead and then we have here another index if i save this refresh you can see here this works absolutely phenomenal and it works nicely shows it nice we could get the colors as well if that is a required item how do we get the colors well very simple we have here the gray let's remove this then i'm going to grab um i guess we can grab 
this part and then we're going to fine tune this a little bit. So we don't want the labels, but we want to be in the data sets and then we have index zero. And then of course what we want, well, let's look at it. Data, data sets, index zero, and then we're going to get the border color. That's the color we want. And we can put it in here. Dot this, say index and say refresh. There we are. Of course, I will not recommend this color match with the border here. Why? Because what would happen if this would be very low? So let's put this on 1.5. It might overlap or it might confuse you a bit. Or let's say here uh, 0 0.3. There you are. So that might bit obstruct the viewing of reading the proper font text here. So I would recommend here just gray. Uh, let's make this just gray. Save, refresh, and that is just a bit more better to read. And that's basically how we can put in items and labels within here without any plugin. We just create our own. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to learn more about the data labels and do some more customized options with the data labels, I'm going to recommend you this video here on how to add custom data labels at specific position in ChartJS, you can see here a different setup that's also possible.